Set against the backdrop of the iconic Eiffel Tower, we've headed here to the eighth leg of the Longines Global Champions Tour, bringing together the world's best show jumpers, some amazing personalities from stage, screen and much more as well, and of course passionate fans all the way to support the world's very, very best. All heading here to the Longines Global Champions Tour as it drops off at the Longines Paris Eiffel Jumping. Juliano Vezzani put together a course with big jumping parallels and a delicate course with poles rolling at the lightest of touches. Up to full height, 1m60 fences, horses needed plenty of scope to get to the other side. Current third in the championship, Italian Alberto Zorzi had an unusual 13 faults with Fairlight Fantica, collecting time faults as well as poles all around the arena and dashing their hopes of rising up the leaderboard. Eduardo Menezes and Chacrano were another duo who had a disappointing round with the pair electing to retire. End of the story here in Paris for um, Eduardo Menezes. First to go clear was Harry Smolders, who put in a stylish round, but the crowd then erupted as Julien Abiyar and usual suspect Doge flew around the arena ensuring the passionate Paris crowd would definitely witness a jump off. Well nicely done by uh, Julien Abiyar, usual suspect Doge in their very first five-star Grand Prix. Olivier Philippartz with H&M Legend of Love were third to go clear with the young Belgian putting in an effortless round with the stunning grey. Overall ranking leader Christian Alman was caught out by the plank and another pole to collect eight faults, surprisingly, with Caribou's said. Home hero Simon de Leste of France raised the temperature as he set off at a gallop with their Mesrai. That's not an issue. Oh, just sailing behind the, that back bar. And no! Uh. 80.66 seconds and the last fence comes down. Another French star, Kevin Stoes, with Silver de Vuitton HDC, picked up an unfortunate eight faults. As blue skies open up above, it would be three riders to jump off with a guaranteed podium spot. Flying Dutchman Harry Smolders had the daunting task of being first to go. Setting off at all the pace they could, the large striding stallion with Smolders knowing he had to throw down the gauntlet to the two riders behind him set the standard at 42-1-3. The crowd erupted in cheers as home hope Julien Appiah with usual suspect Doge takes the way. Good stride over that oxer and now flat out to the last note, makes a check and second one and then he jumps it and what does he get? It is 40.67 seconds and indeed just over half a second faster than Harry Smolders. Final rider to go, Olivier Philippartz had it all to play for. 13. It's a big gap, it's a second oh. and a half. He's got a lot to make up. Now he's got a smoother run. Come on, he's making up, but it's not enough, I'm afraid. It's not enough, so it's... No, it's yeah. not a victory for the Belgians. It's a victory <laughs> for the French <laughs> here <laughs> in <laughs> Paris. It's crazy for me. Uh, I tell you yesterday, after the six bar, it's the first five-star show for the horse. and. Uh, Okay, he always look uh, like a very nice horse, but he was a little bit lucky today. But uh, the, the horse is amazing, he have a crazy scoop, he's so careful, and uh, okay, in the atmosphere like here, uh, he's still going, and uh, I have a super jump off, and I'm really happy today. I try, try to do my best, the horse, okay, I have not so much experience, but uh, okay, he learn uh, super fast. In the overall LGCT rankings, the leaderboard has taken another twist, as Harry Smolders regains the lead with 185 points overall. Christian Alman, however, is breathing down the Flying Dutchman's neck, as he sits just five points away on 180. Alberto Zorzi keeps hold of his third place with 161 points, as the championship race gathers pace and heads towards the beautiful coastal town of Cascais in Portugal for the ninth leg of the Longines Global Champions Tour.